Hello and welcome to The Print. This is Prabhagar Tamilarasil from The Print's Chennai Bureau. It's been two days since the Lok Sabha election results were declared across the country. By now it is clear that the DMK alliance has swept all the 39 constituencies in Tamil Nadu and a lone constituency in Pondicherry. But then today we are not talk, going to talk about DMK but then we are going to look at the performance of BJP and AADMK and what is the way forward for these two parties. So, so BJP has come in second position in as many as 11 constituencies while AADMK has come in second position in as many as 28 constituencies in the state. Before getting into the, uh, the name of the constituencies and the landscape, political landscape of the Tamil Nadu, better let us look at the percentage of votes these parties have secured. While BJP uh, led ND Alliance has secured 18.48 percentage, BJP on its own has secured about 11.24 percentage of votes. This is highest ever since the party started to contest in Tamil Nadu. For AADMK's part, the vote share of AADMK led Alliance is 22.5 percentage, while the ADMK on its own has secured only 20.48 percentage of votes. If you look at the ADMK's performance with the previous election, say for example, let us look at the 2019 Lok Sabha polls, the party contested as a part of NDA alliance has secured, like it contested in 20 seats and it has secured 19.48 percentage of votes. On the other hand, in 2024, it contested in 33 constituencies and secured just 20.48 percentage of votes, which is like way lower than what it has secured in the previous election. To get a like, clearer context, let us look at the previous assembly election in which ADMK contested. So in 2021 assembly election, ADMK was part of NDA alliance, it contested in close to 200 constituencies and it has won, it has, like, it has won 17 in constituencies and secured a vote percentage of 33.43 percentage. So from 33.4 percentage to 20 percentage, it is a like, huge decline in terms of vote share. By looking at the numbers, we, it is clear that the BJP has eaten up on the ADMK votes. How and where did BJP manage to eat up on the ADMK votes? For that, let us look at the alliance partners of BJP. BJP managed to form an alliance with PMK, which is an OBC party having a stronghold in the northern part of Tamil Nadu. It also formed an alliance with the expert AADMK leader O. Panir Silvam and the AMMK leader T.T. Dinagaran, who is a former AADMK leader. While PMK has a, has a, like, has a strong support from the one year community, which is an OBC community in the state. TT Dinagaran and Open Salam has a strong support base from the Mukulutur community, which is a socially and politically dominant community in the southern part of Tamil Nadu. Now, let us look at the constituencies where BJP ate up ADMK's vote. So, they are Coimbatore, Coimbatore Nilgiris, Chennai, uh, and the western part of Tamil Nadu, Chennai south and Chennai central in the central part of Tamil Nadu, Tiruvallur and uh, Vellur in the northern part of Tamil Nadu, and Madurai, Tirunelveli, Kanyakumari in the southern part of Tamil Nadu. For the alliance partners part, for say for example, TT Vidhinagaran in Theni constituency has come up as second, Ramnagaram constituency, Opanisalam has come up as second, and in northern part, PMKs and Saumya Anbuni has come up as second in Dharmavari constituency. So, what are the reasons for these players to come up second in these constituencies? So, the analyst to whom the, the prince spoke to points out that there is no big difference, ideological difference between the ADMK and BJP. The highest aspiration of uh, ADMK candor or an ADMK hardcore ADMK traditional voter is to defeat the DMK. With AADMK keeping its profile low, it has, can, it has contested like mostly unfamiliar ca candidates or unfamiliar ca contestants in that particular constituency. But on the other hand, D BJP has managed to contest like all its uh, star candidates right from the former Union, uh, Union Minister Pond Radhakrishnan to former current min uh, Union Minister L. Murugan. Tamil Nadu Saundarajan, it has, like, it has contested all its star candidates in the constituencies wherever it is possible. By that, so ADMK cadre who wish to defeat DMK, they, uh, they have voted for uh, BJP star candidate whom they, on whom they saw a chance of defeating the DMK. This is, a, this is one factor how the ADMK traditional votes have shifted to the BJP. On the other hand, they are saying that their caste played a major role in the southern part of Tamil Nadu. If you look at the 10 constituencies in the southern part of Tamil Nadu, AADMK has lost deposit in 5 constituencies, namely Kanyakumari, Tutukudi, Tirunelveli, Theni, and Ramnagaram. So, of these 5 constituencies, the, 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 the ADMK rebels or the BJP has come up in the second position, while the ADMK has been completely decimated and it has lost its deposit in these 5 constituencies. This has largely been attributed to the support of Mukulutur community that has been shifted from AADMK to the BJP. Earlier AADMK like the OPA, O Panir Salvam or TT Dinagaran, they have been uh, supporting the AADMK or they have been the senior leaders in the AADMK because of which the Mukulutur community have been supporting the AADMK. Now that these leaders have moved towards BJP, the vote share has also tend to move towards BJP is what we could see from the numbers. 
So what is the way forward for ADMK? So the analyst suggests that the analyst suggests that ADMK has to introspect on two things. One to merge with the OPS and TTU Dinagaran to make the party stronger in the southern part of Tamil Nadu. If not, what the analysts feel is that in the distant future, AADMK may be reduced to a yet another caste party which is reduced to the western region of Tamil Nadu. Because uh, like most of the leaders, senior leaders in AADMK at present are from the western region of Tamil Nadu. Two, the second option what the analyst like Malan Narayanan who is a writer and political commentator suggests is that AADMK should forge an alliance with BJP to secure a considerable number of vote percentage in the next assembly elections. What they also suggested is like had BJP and ADMK been alliance with two alliance in this 2024 uh, Lok Sabha elections, they would have secured at least 12 to 15 uh, seats is what they are predicting. However, that doesn't uh, looks to be uh, happening anytime soon because we could see that both ADMK leaders and BJP leaders have clearly said that there would be no alliance until the 2026 assembly elections. The only option that is in front of AADMK as of now is to uh, have a talks with op their rebel leaders, Open Yusulam and TT Dinagaran, and to merge with them. Or they have an another option where they could strengthen the uh, uh, southern belt of Tamil Nadu with a new leader from the same Mukulutra community to appease the Mukulutra community and the vote, traditional vote banks. This is the one viable option. For BJP to replicate the same percentage of votes or to increase its vote share, we, should, we have to wait and see if BJP is able to retain the same alliance partners. For example, we know that Patali Makalkachi has been in alliance with ADMK until the last election and just they have joined with the NDA in this election. And for TTV and Open Eastern part, this is the first election they are contesting along with a BJP party without ADMK. So we have to wait and watch if the alliance continues till 2026 assembly elections. Even if this election strategy continues, we also have to look at what course corrective measures that ADMK is going to do, how it would impact BJP and how it would strengthen the AADMK party. Thank you.